from Hickman Field number three. This is the Manchester Cup 2012. Hello again, everybody. I'm Greg G.K. Porter for Langevin Productions with George on the 30-foot camera up high. This championship match features the FC Heat and the Delmar Sharks. The Delmar Sharks are in the darker blue, and the FC Heat are in the white shirt jerseys with the uh, blue numbers, and they're going from left to right. And we're about ready to shift colors and get underway for all you sailors out there, past and present. Let's get the lineup, the only lineup that we'll have today for the Delmar Sharks, head coach by Mickey Pejic and the team manager is Ed Daly. Keeper will be Eric Bauer. That's Eric Bauer. Number three, as we are underway now, is Henry Ziegler and he's defender. Number four at forward is Lance Weatherford. Number five at midfield is Rehan Chinoy. Number seven at midfield is Danny Najafian. Number nine at defender is Geffen Cooper. Number 10 at defender is Juan Moreno. Number 14 at defender is Nick Miller. Number 16 at uh, defender is Brian Liu. Number 17 at midfield is Andy Sanchez. Number 18 at forward is Kyle Holcomb. Number 21 at midfield is Corey Daly. Number 22 at defender is Connor Meza. And number 23 at forward is Sebastian Soto. Now in their own defensive half, Delmar Sharks now on the near side. They have the possession. Up forward to Soto. And then now into the central for Holcomb. And the save is made by the keeper. Still in their defensive third. The Delmar Sharks trying to keep going forward but cannot as that ball is driven out of play on the near side. Just the starting of the match. We hope that you have your uh, beverage and your snack to enjoy this one. Right up here in Hickman Field. Near the 805. Just short of the 52. Center of the 18 yard box. And now Chinoy with it. And gets it over to Najafian in the 18. Najafian trying to weave his way for another move. But number 16 drives it past the end line and it now be a corner kick. The first one of the match for the Delmar Sharks. Geff and Cooper will take the corner. And let's see which way he swings the soccer ball. Cooper on the end swinger, and it's a strike into the back of the net, a goal! Go, 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 and so now the FC Heat have their work cut out for them as they're down by one. Delmar Sharks. Players in the are going to be a part of this team, going to be a part of the uh, Developmental League, the SC Developmental League, which has all the best teams from the Presidio League as well as some from the Coast Soccer League, the big CSL. Up in Orange County and L.A. County and that. San Bernardino County. The Delmar Sharks got here by beating the FC Heat 3-2. to two. Then they beat C.V. Manchester 4-0. And then they beat Knott's Forest 2-0. We did a tournament with that name not so long ago. It was Memorial Day weekend, if I can recall. Right here at the Hickman Fields. Juan Moreno's down the right flank with it. Weatherford sending it forward into the corner, but it goes out past the end line. It'll be a goal kick again for the FC Heat. So it's 1-0 on a Sunday afternoon, the second 
weekend of June, and the save is made by the keeper for the FC Heat. And he sends that ball out of his own defensive third. Number three drops it back and then sent across midfield down the central as they try to move forward with it. Three has it now and gets a return pass. But drifting back is Geffen Cooper on a near side. Keeps it in. Nice play. Najafian settles it. Now to the central as they continue to go forward. Going after it, Soto, and then as it goes towards the attacking third for FC Heat, number three on the near side trying to do something with it, but strong in the space is Connor Meza. Cleared out. But it was lastly off the FC Heat, so it's going to be a throw in. 1 0, your score. Elmar Sharks. Daly up to Central, sending it to his teammate Soto there. Soto settles the ball down, but then gives it away, but then goes after it. The intercept on the near side to Najafian. Najafian cannot turn as 16 is able to defend in this space. The FC Heat. Geffen Cooper will throw it in. And he can get it into that 18-yard box. Well, he wants to go short side, and they work their way in just outside the box. For Soto, deflected, and here's another strike, and a goal! Go, 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 go! Beautiful strike by Corey Daly. A brilliant ball into the back of the net to beat the keeper, and it's 2-0. Center ref now, allowing a substitution to come in from the far side for the FC Heat, and it's 2-0 match. Striking early, the Delmar Sharks with two. Really puts you not in a favorable position in the world of soccer. They send a long ball, number 15, pops up into the air, and just being able to drift back before the line and able to do a fine job of keeping it in the back of the net. Now another try, and they get a goal. Go, 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 go. Able to beat Eric Meyer on a blast, and it is two to one now. Three goals scored here in the first half in his championship match, and you seldom see it early in a match. We haven't even got 10 to 15 minutes into the match, and there's already three into the back of the net. Delmar Sharks, they have coming right back at you now. Trying to get into the 18. And they are in the 18 now, quickly, the near side by an offsides call. The linesmen are Jesse Hernandez and Tony Hernandez. Tony is his son, is his uh, father, and Jesse helping his dad out. Richard Lucas is the center ref. So the goal kick or I should say the free kick, and they had a substitution on the far side. We'll mention the numbers for the FC Heat any time they come into the match or the names for the Del Mar Sharks. Ball out of play on the near side. To throw in, Delmar Sharks, the header into the 18. Coming up from the back there was Corey Daly. Daly, from his midfield position, was going to try and make a move there and try to get it to somebody, but could not in that sequence. And now here's Daly again. And he decides to go out wide to Juan Moreno. And Moreno sending it up forward, but it's out of play. So it'll be a throw in. 
on the far side touchline in this 2-1 match. 16, just on top of his 18-yard box. Somebody getting tripped out, but they had a shot over top of frame. Not able to get anything out of that one. They still lead two to one. FC Heat have the onus of making sure that they get that tie. Taking advantage of all the time they have to keep that ball in play. Still a lot of time in this match. Ball sent out wide and now to the attacking third for Weatherford. Still continuing on and they're able to get to that soccer ball and push it past the end line and it'll be a corner kick. The second one of the match for the Del Mar Sharks. As Lance Weatherford had a nice run in the 18 yard box. And they had to attack him into space. Otherwise he had an unabated attempt at putting it in the back of the net. And on the second corner kick, they have it in the 18, and a keeper, then a goal! Go, 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 go! The initial strike, my Soto, but Finishing it off into the back of the net is Danny Najafian. And Danny has got his second goal of the match. So it is now three to one as the Del Mar Sharks Put another one into the back of the net here in the first half. The FC Heat, and now there's two balls out there, two soccer balls out there on the field. Center ref has not recognized it yet, or neither has the linesman. And one of the players for the FC Heat is going to go after and get it out of play. The whistle and the Del Mar Sharks will have a free kick. Sending it down to Central. And if you're the FC Heat, you must start to stiffen up in your defensive third. Because you've already given up three goals in the back of your net. And you really can't afford to give up another one here in the first half. Entertain any hopes of winning the hardware. Here's a nice diagonal pass. And then another try, a block by the keeper in the 18. Trying to get another subsequent strike, and they couldn't that time. But boy, they had a bevy of opportunities. And those are mounting up with the Del Mar Sharks here in the first half. As the blast you saw there by Kyle Holcomb. And remember, he was the one that had the great run and gave up, well, they had to give up the second corner kick to the Del Mar Sharks as they were able to get to him at the last moment. Towards the near side, the FC Heat gathering it and sending it towards the uh, attacking third, 26, trying to get to it. Now three went over his head. But the strike there as Najafian getting to it, he of the two goals. And now heading towards the keeper is Weatherford. And he puts it in the back of the net. Let's Weatherford a goal. Four to one now as Weatherford has a goal along with a two by Danny Najafi and Corey Daly. And the FC Heat now down by three. And this is the most goals that have been scored in this uh, Manchester Cup 2012 between 
or you know, based on the uh, lineup that uh, has been displayed for the Del Mar Sharks. In other words, when they played the FC Heat, they had three goals. CB Manchester, they had four. So they have tied as many as they've gotten when they played CB Manchester. Did they get another one? And there's a lot of time left in this match. They will have the most that they've displayed in their entry into the tournament this year. And they are a developmental team, and you can see why. Chinoy going out wide. And it's boys under 12 match. The championship one. In the world of soccer, usually when you get four goals, that's it. The other squad is not coming back from that, but that's in professional soccer. And youth soccer, not necessarily, but if you get four goals, you're in great position, even in youth soccer, especially at this age. But the FC Heat are not going to stop their efforts trying to put one in the back of the nets. Off of a bounce, Najafian able to win that soccer ball and send it up forward toward the 18-yard box and uh, Holcomb not able to go forward, but it'll be a throw in. On the near side, it'll be a substitution, but the center ref did not recognize the linesman's attempt to get his attention. To the nearest side, the Del Mar Sharks now will be able to throw it in, and now that substitution is going to come in for the FC Heat and for the Del Mar Sharks. 16, and that's Brian Liu is into the match now. Six comes out for the FC Heat, and we do not see the number of an FC Heat player, but we will mention his number as he touches that soccer ball out on the pitch. The ball with the geometric designs of the world's most famous sport, football, in most countries, soccer in this one. We got another sport called football. Toward the 18, FC Heat able to gather it and send it all the way down for a long ball. Over the top for number three, trying to get to it. He cannot, but there's 15. He's dangerous. He goes down, and let's see what a call is going to be. That might be against the keeper, and yes, it is. It'll be a penalty shot. So Eric Meyer had to make a decision, and he came out on the striker, and he got a piece of him. And so the penalty kick try here for the FC Heat, trying to get their second goal of the match as they're down 4-1. to one. Number 11 puts it into the back of the net, and that was really strong by number 11. And it is now 4-2. to two. Six goals here in the first half in his Manchester Cup Boys Under 12 Championship match. And seldom do you see that in a first half. But that's exactly what's being displayed today. A two goal lead now and a substitution for Mickey Pedgick, head coach, Delmar Sharks. And Andy Sanchez is in the match, number 17. Holcomb sends it out wide for Weatherford. And he ran out of real estate. It'll be a throw in from the far side touchline for the FC Heat. Down by two now. And boy, if you just checked in and said, what? Four to two. It's still in the first half. That's exactly what the score is. And I'm not so sure there won't be maybe a couple more goals scored before, maybe not the end of the first half here, but by the end of the game. The defenders being challenged in this match. 
And the Delmar Sharks have played a high line, and that has created some problems now. And here it goes again towards the 18-yard box. And three got a shot off. Wow, over top of frame. Didn't think he was going to get that shot off, but he did. And it had a lot of velocity, but too high. So the goal kick, the FC Heat would like to try to keep it in the defensive half of the Del Mar Sharks. And the Sharks would like to continue doing what they've been doing most of this match, rushing up the field. If you're the FC Heat, you want to have a chance to win this match, the championship one, you've got to keep it more towards the middle of the field and in the defensive half of the Del Mar Sharks. But can they do it? So far in the early going, the first half, that has not been the case as it is driven out of play. As Brian Liu will throw it in from the far side touchline. And they'll get their attack going again in the attacking third. Strike by Chinoy off of Holcomb but it couldn't go any further. FC Heat able to collect and go back up the field. 26 trying to get the soccer ball. Now his teammate has it, and now a ball sent on a long ball try for number three, and he's been uh, somewhat dangerous. Three now takes a shot, and on the near side, no problem for Eric Meyer. But good defensive play there to not allow three to get a, the kind of shot he would have liked to have. Here's 11 towards the central block, but 11 goes after it again. And now one of the Del Mar Sharks players goes down, and that's Genoy. And the whistle's going to blow here to stop play. Of course, in soccer, the clock keeps running unless they really feel they got a players down for a long time. And then there will be time added to the end of the half or to the end of the match. 21 is coming in. Corey Daly is into the match as the injured player comes off. And the FC Heat player is just going to drive it back to Eric Meyer as the possession is going to be in favor of the Del Mar Sharks. Went by daily, but there, here is Holcomb. Holcomb splitting a couple of defenders, continuing on, and they're just able to gather it and keep him from going any further as he had a nice run down that central. Soto protecting the soccer ball away from the uh, defender and now sending that ball into the 18, but 16 drifts back and gets to it. When the Joffian on the intercept is attempted service was blocked and again in the 18 yard box they're marking him well and 16 is able to collect and send that ball out of play in the near side. Four to two, the score here in the first half, the championship match between the Del Mar Sharks and the FC Heat. Cooper and then the Joffian a touch, trying to get it up forward as Soto and he didn't get it. actually getting sent out by the Del Mar Sharks, throwing FC Heat. Three, sending that ball toward the attacking third. Not able to go any further, but, and the defender in the space had to send it out. So 11 has it now, and he drives it right at Meyer, but Meyer has enough room to make the save. Sending it upfield as they've compressed the Del Mar Sharks a little bit here. Najafian went by Daly. Now here's Lou. 
Good first touch going out wide. And now to uh, Sanchez. In the interior, trying to go further. Weatherford wins it. Goes back out wide to Sanchez. His pass was blocked. And they'll get a corner out of it. So this will be the third corner kick of the first half. And obviously of the match for the Del Mar Sharks. Corey Daly does the corner kicking duties. Which way will he swing the soccer ball? Outswinger and inswinger. A little bit of an outswinger into the central of the box, but driven over top of frame by Sebastian Soto. Sebastian says, I would have liked to have had that one back. That's what you want to do as a player in the 18-yard box. At least get a strike on the soccer ball. You never know what might happen. Sanchez, Lou, Daly. This ball going out wide, but his teammate couldn't get it, Najafian. And Najafian pursues it, wins it. Sends it back to Lou. Lou to Daly. Daly back to Lou now. Changes directions. Nice bit of passing here now. As they go up forward to Holcomb. Holcomb towards the 18, but he's got defenders there, but a blast from distance. And no problem as the keeper able to make the save, but Soto got off a shot just as well to Lou. Lou bringing it down. There's players there for FC Heat, and they drive it all the way down to the 18, and Bayer comes off his line and makes the save. Four to two. Your score here in this championship match as we wind towards halftime. Weatherford. Corey Daly couldn't go any further. So now they got to retreat back. Geffen Cooper in a space, getting pressured by three, and it goes off a of three, and Geffen will throw it in. And a Joffian. Soto. Holcomb. Couldn't get it to a teammate there. The center circle, they have it. Delmar Sharks with Daly. Good first touch. And Daly going out wide. And the Joffian as they work their passing game. Sends it back to Lou, but Lou has to watch out as cheating up was number 15. And they go back the other way. Daly able to get it. But 11 has it. They're going to be, looked like they were going to be offsides there for a moment. Buyer driving it down at Central. Holcomb. Sanchez. Back to Holcomb. In the space, they dispossess him, but following it up is Sanchez. Sending it forward now. After it, there's Weatherford. Weatherford in the box. He accelerates, takes a shot, and they just miss their opportunity that time as it goes past the end line. It'll be a corner kick, though. Knocked out by the FC Heat. But a nice run down the right flank, and Weatherford doing a lot of work there. Fourth corner kick in to the central and just couldn't handle it, but they still have it. Kept in nicely. Another service towards the back post. And not able to get to it was Weatherford. Upfield. Keeping it from going any further was Soto. And here's Weatherford now. Ludes one man. Nice play. And a service intercepted. We got players keeping it from going into the box. But here's Daly on the intercept. Daly goes around one player. He couldn't go around the second, but on the carom, trying to get it there with Sanchez, and it goes into the hands of the FC Heat player, and they send it up field. But that high line keeps them bottled up in their own defensive half. As it goes out of play, it'll be a throw in by the FC Heat. Down by two here in the first half, four to two. 
That ball is going to roll out of play. Or was there a foul? There's a foul in the space. Number 11 will take the free kick. This is their second of the match. Can he get it into the 18-yard box? Or will it be intercepted? No, he gets it right at Byer, and he has to make the save. Nice save by Eric Byer, as that one had enough length on it to get right at him. 11 has the ability to do so from long distance, and you're going to have to, as a defender, keep mindful of what he can do. Free kick now. Delmar Sharks, only their second of the match. Up forward, Sanchez. And that's a double whistle, and it's the end of the first half. Hopefully you enjoyed all of the exciting action here in the first half. Six goals scored total between the two teams. But the lead goes to the Delmar Sharks, leading 4-2. to two. Stick with us. You'll see the players intently watching their coaches, and then we'll be back with the exciting second half of this championship match in the Manchester Cup 2012. Two free kicks, uh, the Delmar Sharks, and they had four corner kicks. FC Heat had two free kicks in that first half. Throw in number 13 for the FC Heat. Manchester Cup 2012 here at Hickman Field, number three. Soccer can be a tale of two halves, so it'll be interesting to see how it plays itself out here in the second half. Looks like the uh, FC Heat made a keeper change, and yes, they did, because number 13 was playing keeper in the first half. On the far side, the throw in. Delmar Sharks with Holcomb. Holcomb makes a turn, and it is knocked out of play. It'll be a corner kick, and they'll get their fifth of the match. And, of course, taking in is going to be Corey Daly. His father, Ed, helping us with uh, the roster. We thank him for that information, doing his team manager duties. He and his wife coordinating real well here. It's Del Mar Sharks team and Corey, part of that Encinitas Express team that we had on Langevin Productions a couple years ago. And that ball was knocked past the six yard box. Wide now, but collecting there as you saw was Soto. And Sebastian was on the team that played that Encinitas Express team that we did on Langevin Productions, and he was on the uh, Carlsbad Lightning team then. Number 11, who can send that ball at the keeper from long distance. Eight. Number three was active in the first half into the box. Bayer gives up a rebound, and it goes after it and gets it before 15 can get a strike on it. Boy, that was dangerous. 
keepers have to be tough. And you got these strikers and midfielders bearing down on them. Have to make the wise decisions. Have to make the saves. Up forward now, here's Soto. Soto trying to go forward. He was stopped there, but now on it is Weatherford. Back to Soto. Sends a nice ball into the box for Holcomb. And then it goes off of Holcomb. As he tries to get to it, it is cleared out of play on the near side. Wynn is going across the field with Wise. And it's going from the near side to the far side. 15 on it. Intercepted by Soto. Nick Miller sending it towards Holcomb, but he didn't get it as it was intercepted at the last moment. As a player right before him was able to keep that ball going to Holcomb, but now they still have it from the wide. And it is going to be an offsides call. FC Heat, down by two, have the free kick. Intercepted nicely by Soto, trying to work it to his teammate in the central. That didn't happen. But Daly interrupted that soccer ball from going across midfield. But 11 winning it, controlling it nicely. Nice bit of dribbling, now a forward, 15. He takes a strike and knocked away by Bayer at the last moment. Nice save by Eric Beyer to rob 15 as he was man marked heavily and he still was able to get a shot off. And a corner kick they have, their first one of the match into the 18, but it was knocked away. 13. And getting back there is Sebastian Soto. But they're going to get an opportunity to throw it in. Right outside the 18. And it's 4-2 match that the Del Mar Sharks are enjoying the lead in. 15 strikes it over the head of three, but he's able to knock a header over towards Bayer, but Bayer able to make the save. Didn't have a lot of steam on it, but you're going towards that keeper. You're trying to put the ball in the back of the net. You just want to find a way to direct it right at him. And now it's going to be a free kick. As that goes against the Del Mar Sharks. This is the fourth one. And they get around us applause on the far side, trying to keep things going for their FC Heat. 12 year olds. FC Heat out of Escondido area, if you didn't know, North County. Ball sent forward now, just outside the 18-yard box. Going after it there is Weatherford. Knocked out of play. It'll be a throw-in for the Sharks. Nick Miller is going to do the honors. Miller towards the 18 off of a bounce. Now here's Weatherford, and it's blocked. Knocked past the end line, and it was knocked past the in line off of a Del Mar Sharks player. So it's a goal kick. FC Heat. Soto he had intercepted it, now 13, driving it forward. And now three with a head of steam off that right flank. He sends one. Into the central, but 15 trying to get to it, and I believe he hit the defender trying to mark him, and that happened to be Nick Miller. And that ball goes to the wide side. Getting it there was Gaffin Cooper. He sent it out of play. A bit throw in for the FC Heat. 13 is going to throw it in. Eight. 
But the Heat sending it forward. But Olavev will take a shot way over the top of frame and the fence. And over to the building area, the parking area nearby. They got another soccer ball ready to go. And somebody able to see that soccer ball and thankfully nobody got hurt over there and they throw it over. Substitution is now Danny Najafi and it will come into the match. Danny, a midfield player. He of the line cleats. And he of the two goals in the first half. Najafi. 11, can't get to it. Soto trying to keep him from doing so. 11 runs onto it now. Sends it a little bit forward and three, tried to get it and it went off of his cleat, past the end line, it'll be a goal kick. That ball was sent just to the inside and three was to the outside. And if it's sent to the outside, he has an opportunity to make a move and put some pressure on Eric Beyer. A forward 11 off of the intercept. 11 again, but he couldn't maintain possession of the soccer ball. So here's Danny Najafian on the near side. Sends it right outside the 18. Here's Weatherford now is Pass is just behind the net. He would have loved to have had that ball bend a little bit more. Send more of a teasing ball right at the keeper for FC Heat. Soto, Weatherford can't get it. Holcomb's in the area, but can he maintain possession? He does. Wins it nicely, gets it over to Soto. Soto couldn't control it. Holcomb just couldn't quite get it that time. 15 has it as he comes back to help out his teammates in the midfield and now to the near side. He's knocked out of play, and the Joffian will set it up for Nick Miller to throw it in. Nick. Throws it in off of a bounce into the 18. Try to get another strike, and they couldn't as the FC Heat stiffen up in their 18. The near side sending it all the way up to midfield at 15. Trying to go up forward, but he could not. Nice play by Corey Daly. Daly still controlling the soccer ball. Going out wide now, getting it to uh, Najafi. And sitting in the corner for Weatherford and uh, at the keeper that time. And Holcomb just couldn't quite get a strike on it. Keeper coming off his line, and he had to that time as Holcomb would have put it in the back of the net. Long the far side, Geffen Cooper on a run as Delmar Sharks continue to go forward. Here's Holcomb just outside the box. They have to be careful right around that box as a shot and a save by the keeper. Keeping the pressure on, Sebastian Soto, here's Holcomb. He was the one that took that shot. Najafian now, settling it down, nice play. Goes into the other direction and it was taken away by seven. Sending it all the way up to midfield. Gaffin Cooper trying to pursue it, but 26 keeps it in. And a miss kill now, and here's three now. They got two on one, trying to send it to 15. He makes a fake try, and that didn't work out as they're now going to get support in that defensive third. He might have wanted to just strike it back to his teammate on that play, and that would have been a better play. It was 15 for the FC Heat. When you're down four to two, you cannot be too fancy at times because you've got to try to get those other two goals. And that's what 15 be victimized there. Might be a little bit too fancy. 16 coming in and that's Brian Liu now. Liu into the match and throwing it in is Nick Miller for the Del Mar Sharks. Leading four to two. 
in his championship match. Now another player is coming in for the FC Heat. Miller, try to go over towards that 18 yard box. Holcomb, and he couldn't quite control it that time. Intercepted nicely by Najafian. Up forward to Weatherford, to Holcomb. Najafian, nice control of the soccer ball on the near side, 12 knocks it out. And Danny will throw it in, or no, he'll give way to Nick to throw it in. Nick, south side 18. Weatherford into the 18, and he's tripped. Was he tripped in the box? No, he was tripped just outside the box. Fenders have to be really mindful around that box of the player in the space trying to attack. And for the FC Heat, they were fortunate this time. But this is a free kick, the third one of the match. That can be dangerous from this distance. Center ref. Richard Lucas making sure the players, the FC Heat, are proper distance away. Geffen Cooper with the free kick. Cooper bends it right towards the keeper. He makes a save. And it goes out to a defender, sends it out of the 18, but it's back in the 18 real quick. Holcomb trying to get it into the, towards the end line, up in the air in the central. Delmar Sharks couldn't get another strike on it all the way upfield as clearing it out as the FC Heat. At least the way they cleared it out, they cleared it out with distance. And so working out of their own defensive third is the Delmar Sharks rather than at midfield. Number 12 winning it in the space. But his pass is intercepted in that space. 11 wouldn't allow it to go any further. So 12 on it. FC Heat trying to go forward to the attacking third. It can't do it. It's a nice move by uh, Chinoy. Rehan Chinoy, nice play. A forward to Holcomb now. He has a couple of defenders beat into the 18. And 16 is able to drift back and win that soccer ball. When it looked like Holcomb was going to accelerate, but he was probably thinking, I want to drop it back to a teammate. And that gave 16 an opportunity to get to the soccer ball. Here's Holcomb. He makes a move around one player, takes a shot and a save by the keeper. He tried to chip that ball over the top of the keeper's head into the back of the net, and he was able to get up in the air and keep it from doing that. Back down the field on a counterattack, the 26 now into the box, and he couldn't control it, and Byers able to get to it. But he was marked quite well in the space by Nick Miller. Nick Miller now sending it forward. On the near side, Najafian going after it, and it's driven out of play by 10 for FC Heat, throwing it in as Najafian towards Weatherford. Weatherford on the run. Weatherford still on a soccer ball now. And he tried to do a step over, and when he did that, he was dispossessed. So the throw in for Danny Najafian, the near side. Ball had to be retrieved. Struck by Chinoy, his pass intercepted, Najafian, and he really didn't strike the soccer ball in the way he wanted to, so it went past the end line, and it's going to be a goal kick. Greg G.K. Porter, along with George Langevin, on the camera from 30 feet, the stadium view, we call it. If you'd like to see youth soccer videos, check out our YouTube channel. Just type in L-A-N-G-E-V-I-N, and then type in the word productions with an S. Weatherford trying to make a strike, and he could not control it. So they're going to have the goal kick. But it doesn't matter if you're ahead in the match, and in this case, ahead by two goals. The FC Heat have to do things that are going to give them a chance 
in this match. As now Andy Chavez comes in, number 17 in midfielder. And Sebastian Soto is back into the match as well, and he's a forward. Match has slowed down from the pace of the goals in the first half, and oftentimes I'll say a tale of two halves. Saw that uh, in professional soccer in the Euro 2012, and Italy playing against Spain, and that's exactly what it was, tale of two halves. No goals scored in the first half, but two were scored in the second half. Ball sent all the way down towards the 18-yard box. Holcomb, as they try to go up forward, and now Soto did get a shot on that. And he formerly of the Carlsbad Lightning. Playing with his friend Corey Daly, who played on the other side in that great match years ago that we showed, Langevin Productions. And they playing with the rest of these guys in the SC, Southern California Developmental League. And that's the best league you want to be in here in Southern California. Near side, Sanchez sending that ball out of play. But again, they don't have to worry about connecting the Del Mar Sharks because they lead by two goals. The team in white with the blue numbers, they've got to worry about connecting and making plays. Sending that ball up forward way far in front of three, and three not able to run that down. If you're the FC Heat, you need to keep it in the defensive half of the Shark. Sharks. And in the deep back, Delmar Sharks sending it all the way up to midfield, but intercepted by 12 on the near side. Ball sent all the way down at Bayer, and he's able to get to it. I want to let you know in, in this match that uh, the decision not to the players of the FC Heat is not Langevin Productions' decision. This is the decision of the team manager and head coach of the FC Heat out of Escondido. Because we normally do our games with the names being mentioned on both sides. As the FC Heat not able to make good out of that opportunity going upfield, it'll be a goal kick. As three, who's been active in this match, is going to come out. And I believe that's 15 coming back in for the FC Heat. And Delmar Sharks are going to get a fresh player in as Brian Liu is going to get a breather. And Henry Ziegler is into the match, the defender. Up forward, it went by Chinoy. Miller. Heading that ball up forward. Intercepted by 11. Nick Miller has it. Miller drawing it back. Nice play. Looking for an angle there. A seam, and he gets it up forward to Soto. Soto pursuing that soccer ball in the near side, and Seven gets over there and clears it out. Four to two, Delmar Sharks want to have this one stand up for the championship of the Manchester Cup 2012 and coming at the keeper. And he was able to make the save, another one, and he dives after it and is able to make a save again. Henry Ziegler, the header that time, and it, Knocked him back, but his teammates collected the soccer ball. Holcomb and it's punched away from Holcomb that time by the keeper of the FCE. Nice decision that time. 
He had to be careful whenever you try to punch that soccer ball. You got to make sure you don't get the player because that'll give you a card. It might not be the uh, card that you want. Could get a red card. Discretion of the center ref. Najafian up to Holcomb. Holcomb now outside the box. It's Sarvis trying to get his teammate there at Sanchez. And it went by him, but he still. As that ball went past the inline, picked up there by one of the Hernandez brothers. And that is the, or Hernandez's, I should say. That's Tony Hernandez near his side. The goal kick for the FC Heat, intercepted by Soto to Holcomb. Holcomb gets by the two defenders, and he tries to chip it by the keeper, and he was able to make a slight save that time. Boy, the keeper for the FC Heat has kept this game somewhat close. But either way, you keep it going in the direction of their defenders, you're going to get one by them eventually. And if you're the FC Heat, you cannot afford that. You've got to have more possession time of the defensive half of the Del Mar Sharks, and that's not happening now. 12 slows that soccer ball down. It gets into 14, and Nick Miller comes into space and drives it out of play. So it'll be a throw in. Substitution as Lance Weatherford is coming in. Lance, play up forward as Kyle Holcomb will be getting a breather. And Coach uh, Mickey Pidgeck will definitely bring him back in if he needs to. May not need to. Time running out. They still have a 4-2 lead here in this championship match. 12, going to throw it in for the FC Heat. Off of uh, Soto. So 12 will throw it in for the FC Heat. Well, getting by one player in his service, trying to get somebody to Central, and they just couldn't quite do it. Nicely cleared out of the 18 by the Del Mar Sharks. Three, or rather 13, I should say. I knew there was a three in there. He was the one who played keeper in the first hand. On the near side, it goes out of play. Nick Miller will throw it in. Nick tried to get it to Sebastian, but it went too far. The FC Heat driving it all the way back toward the defensive third. Daly sending it forward. Soto on a give and go. Weatherford back to Soto, and 16 is able to drive it out of play in the near side. They had a pretty good little give and go there. Down the field, and even though they don't score, does not matter when you've got a two-goal lead. They did all the work in the first half. And it is still standing up here in the second, as the FC Heat have not been able to put one in the back of the net. 12. Pass was intercepted by uh, Geffen Cooper, sending it forward. In the deep back, they're able to win it. Sending it up forward, and in the space, there's going to be a free kick now awarded to the FC Heat. And the Heat now have their fifth. But as they collect these and corner kicks, potentially, they need to try and get a good quality chance at the keeper. Can they do it? 
as Chavez bringing it out of his own defensive half to midfield, sending that ball towards Soto. Went off of him, and he's going to show his speed and get to the soccer ball now. Soto on a service, and it goes right at the keeper, and he makes a save. Intercepted there by Geffen Cooper to get it back. Now sent forward by Ziegler. Najafian, who scored two goals in the first half, and they were two big ones. Really hurt the FC Heat, along with Corey Daly and Lance Weatherford. Eight will throw it in, but there'll be a substitution. 26 will come out for the FC Heat. Looks like they're going to get three back in there to make their final push. Three now, the wide side. Marking him heavily in the spaces. Gavin Cooper dispossessing him, but three goes after it again. He can't quite get it as Henry Ziegler in support drives it out of play. Throw in from the far side touchline. They look for three again. He chips it into the 18 for 15. Up in the air, the 50-50 ball, but no problem as getting a piece of that was Connor Meza. Getting right back to his keeper, Bayer. Here's Nick Miller on the near side. Nick sends it up forward. To Andy Sanchez, driven off of 10. Going to be a throw in and Andy's gonna throw it in. To Daly, chest trap there and then gets it over to Chinoy. Chinoy's pass all wise was intercepted there. The header by Geffen Cooper got behind him. He's got support. Nick Miller now on the run. And that's a double whistle, and the championship will go to the Del Mar Sharks in this Manchester Cup 2012. Four to two, the final score. We hope you enjoyed all of the action in this championship match and all the goals scored in the first half. Neither team could get anything going in the second half, but for the Sharks, they didn't need to. We'll be right back with interviews and a closing comment in just a moment. Stick with us. Thank you guys very much for coming out to this year's 2012 Manchester Cup. 
give a bullpen to both these teams. They played a great tournament. Without further ado, to our Manchester Cup 2012 finalist, FC Heat. were very, very good, and it's the second time we played it, and uh, certainly a credit to the club, well done, Delmore Sharks. Um, I would like to say a little bit about my team. This team was put together two years ago, Double AB, and uh, most of the rec players. And in two years, they've got to Triple A, just got promoted to Triple A, and we've played them up into, into uh, against talent like this. And all credit to them, because the big kids that never quit. Uh, half time, we, I mean, at, uh, in the first half we had a 10 minute spell where we didn't know what we were doing and then we re realised in the second half we could put it together. Other than that, we've had a great tournament, we look forward to a good year, I think it's a great team. But uh, worthy opponent, uh, opponents, very well done. Well, my team comes <laughs> So, uh, Nathan, well done. Nathan, you played a great game. Woo! Nathan! Woo! Nathan! And uh, Ryan?
Greg GK Porter back here with the Del Mar Sharks and I'm going to let them introduce themselves and say a little bit about uh, being in this tournament and uh, here they are. I'm Nick Miller. I'm number 14 and I play right back. I think we played a great tournament and I can't wait to go to the developmental league. Show that, show that tournament, show that championship. I'm Sebastian Soto. I play attacking midfield and I'm number 23. And what I liked about this tournament is the other teams. I'm Corey Daly. I am number 21. I play defensive mid. I like what I liked about this tournament is the competition. I'm Eric Beyer. Um, I'm number one. I play goalie. And what I liked about this tournament is the really good refs, and they made a good even game. Hi, I'm Rayhan and I'm number five. I play holding mid with Corey. And what I like about this tournament is the competition. Hi, I'm Danny Najafi and number seven. I play left to mid. And what I liked about this tournament is the challenge and how we tackled it to win Manchester. I'm Andy Sanchez, I play right mid. Um, I'm number 17 and we won. <laughs> Hi, I'm Juan Moreno. I'm number 10. I'm right back, and I like the competition. I'm Connor Meza. I'm number 22. I play defense, and this was an awesome tournament, and great job to FC Heat, and we wish them luck. Hi, I'm Kyle Holcomb, and I play forward number 18, and I liked all the competition and all the good teams that we played against. Hi, I'm Geffen, and I'm left defender, and I like that we won this tournament. Hi, I'm Lance. I'm number four. I um, play forward, and I like the competition. All right, guys. On three, you guys are going to do your Del Mar Sharks or, or Leo Lair or whatever you guys do, okay? It's going to be on three, okay, guys? All right. Okay, they're getting it together. All right, it's going to be on three. One, two, three. Sharks! All right. Good job, good job. 
The scoring in this championship match was two goals by Danny Najafian, one by Lance Weatherford, and one by Corey Daly, where the Del Mar Sharks were victorious by a score of 4-2 to two over the Escondidos FC Heat. We hope you enjoyed all the action from Hickman Field number three in the 2012 Manchester Cup. I'm Greg G.K. Porter for George Landman behind the video camera saying take care of yourself as always. God bless and remember to save this one on your hard drive. Bye now.